you guys, it's the Gorenator here, and welcome to the 17th episode of the Britbox Podcast, the home of two British lads discussing all sorts over a spot of tea and a slice of cake. Welcome back, Max, and everybody else listening. Hello. 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 You alright? Yes. Uh, well, no. No? Ha- having to do homework is not fun. What What subject is it for? Psychology. Is it, like, important stuff, or just, like, generic Important. Homework? All six right. pages on a PowerPoint, and I got to do three for tomorrow. Three, uh, three people focused on psychology. I got to do three times six, so that's eighteen pages for tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Good no. Work. No. <laughs> I hate psychology. But hey, well, how how, how are you? How, what are you uh, up to? I'm doing pretty good. I got a lot to talk about today. I think it's going to be a, a very story heavy episode, like last week. I have one story, and it's a very brief one. So. All right, go for it before I take uh, <laughs> like, uh, ramble on. Um, well, it's a really just quick one. Basically, um, I was walking down to the bus station yesterday. This is Tuesday because um, I finished college really early. I like finished before like ten o'clock. Whoa! And I was, and I was you in have, like and... one lesson. No, I didn't even have a lesson. Um, I had like a. Uh, a, a progress review day but my tutor wasn't in oh, right, so we okay. sat there for about 40 minutes then he said uh our teacher who we had said we could go home or we could just go even though he's not meant to go home yeah i went i went home uh i'm not missing that so yeah i got pretty much all the tuesday off but as i was walking down to the bus station with my two friends we were going to go into game quickly um basically you know sometimes you can in the town center you see like school children like um just walking ba- around yeah, like having like school trips in the station. Oh right, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, uh, we were walking down, and there was obviously like this school trip or whatever. Th- bear in mind, this was about uh, eleven o'clock, well, ten o'clock ish. Um, so we were walking down, and all of them these these kids were like six, seven. All of them. Had a pizza from Pizza Express. Oh, a single e- pizza each. each. Oh my. And there was like 30 of them. And they all had one pizza each. And we were like, what the hell? <laughs> and we never got this at our school. They got a bo- yeah. was it like a was it like a large pizza as well? Yeah, it was a pretty decent sized pizza. And remember, this is Pizza Express, and they're pretty expensive. Yeah. So like all these kids have got one each. Wow, it, it was pretty. Maybe nuts. maybe there's learning how pizza is made, and they had to they, they had to make their own like pizza, or at least do the toppings. Maybe yeah, maybe that's, that's what we was doing. Each they all got one. <laughs> I was just like, I should wow. have asked if I could have had a bit. I should have done that. Speaking of free pizza, I got free pizza uh, oh, last what? week. Why is everyone getting free pizza? <laughs> it's from uh, college because obviously they have like multiple canteens and stuff, and one of them oh. does like pizza. It's like five quid or something, you get a whole pizza to yourself. You have a multiple canteens. Yeah, because cool. the college is split up. So there's like, oh, they're, right, yeah. they're in different places. Um, so yeah, I got free pizza. Well, the whole college class got free pizza. Like we got a free pizza in each of our groups. There was three groups um, of enough. about six of us, eight, nine, ten of us. I don't know. Um, and basically we, we was making adverts for the canteen and selling the pizza. Oh, so cool. we had to go, we got to go in there and film and stuff. And then... As a thank you, and also to film the pizza, uh, we we each got one. So, yeah, it wasn't bad. It, it, I don't know if it's as good as like other places, like takeaway pizzas, but it was all right. I'm not complaining for a free pizza. So exactly, exactly. That's lucky. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Right. So, first story for your face happened right today. Like I said to my friends this morning, as soon as I got in, um, everything always happens to me. Like, yep. Why? It does, as we've heard, as we've seen on all of these podcasts. Every fucking podcast, I have like some crazy stories to tell you guys. So today, I was going in on the bus, normal and everything, um, and we're about to pull her into town, and suddenly there's this one last stop, and the bus driver's going pretty quickly, he doesn't notice this old lady, so he has to brake super hard, and goes like, drives, I don't know, maybe like a few feet past her, so obviously she's quite old, she's slowly walking past the bus goes to get on and like trips and falls and must have hit her leg or something on like the the floor of the bus okay. um so anyway um this girl who was sat near the door went to go help her up uh and then suddenly she starts like freaking out and stuff because there's a lot of blood everywhere because this woman's like busted her entire leg open oh uh, what the hell because she's like 92 or something so 
even just that little fall was clearly quite damaging to her. So yeah, she like must have... I, I didn't actually see the wound itself, but I saw the blood afterwards. There was so much. She, yeah, pretty much just cut her whole leg open. Um, so the bus was just stuck outside town <laughs> and we had to wait like 20 minutes for an ambulance. A lot of people got off and just walked to town because it was going to be late for work or college or whatever. Uh, I stayed on. Um, be the good guy. Be the hero. Well, I wasn't really helping. I was just you know, sitting there <laughs> awkwardly. <laughs> just like, yeah. <laughs> Look, she hurt herself, which is fine, you know. Well, it's not fine, but, you know, I, I feel bad for her. Like, yeah. you know, that's not, that's not great. Um... But the thing that annoyed me is they left the bloody doors open on the bus. And it was freezing <laughs> this morning. I bloody doors. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't <laughs> so, have said that. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Uh, so, yeah, they left the doors open for like 20 minutes. I was just sat there shivering. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, she seemed fine in the end. They just like bandaged her leg up and uh, took her to hospital just to get a checkup and stuff. But, yeah, 92 years old. That is, Did she, uh, like, tell everyone? She's like, I'm mighty too. No, it was when uh, they was calling the ambulance. They had to, like, oh. tell, you know, who it was yeah. and stuff and what ha- what had happened. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> As I was getting off the bus, we, we all had to, like, <coughs> dodge blood on the floor. Because it's, like, oh. a massive trail. Because, obviously, you know, they once she hit oh, her leg, God. they kind of brought her into the bus to sit down. So, there's, like, a massive trail of blood everywhere. It wasn't yeah. nice. It was also pretty funny when that girl, like I said, right at the start, went to go help her up. And then suddenly she starts freaking out. She's there for like a good five, ten minutes just freaking out about the blood and stuff. It's like, wow. What did the bus driver do? I, um, I guess. Not a lot. It was mainly just passengers, which helped the... It was two really? women that helped the old lady and like put pressure on it. The bus driver grabbed uh, like tissue or something to put over the wound. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he just kind of sat there. He didn't even call the ambulance. It was one of the women. Oh helping. my God. He didn't do a lot. Um <laughs> But yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. To see this one, so yeah, I was a little bit late for college, but you know, uh, it, you know, yeah, it wasn't Who that cares? bad. You had, a, you had a good enough reason. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad the woman is okay. That wouldn't have been nice. You hope she she's fine. All right. You, she's were, fine. were you there? Yeah, I was. Well, not a hospital, but she's she's probably fine. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, so another story is um <laughs> on Saturday. I went around my neighbor's house, my whole family, for dinner. Why and not? we was having like a Scottish dinner thing. I don't know why, but they did all their meals kind of yeah, had, traditional Scottish stuff, I guess. You had haggis. Yes, yeah. I did. I had oh, I did. tried haggis. I also you tried like it? uh yeah, it's pretty nice. What is haggis? It's like heart and it's liver and stuff, isn't not, it? Not not quite. Uh it's like Well, it's like, yeah, it has like pig's blood and well, sorry, sheep. It's like it's traditionally sheep's uh intestine. Um, and you have like, um, uh, you have basically, it's stuff with oatmeal, blood and, uh, other stuff. And then yeah. you cook it and you eat it. It's apparently kind of nice. It was, I don't know. oh, never so you've it. never, you never had it? Uh, I've never had it. Oh, no. I assumed, uh, your dad would have brought one home one day no. or something. Well, I, I think he likes it, but I don't think anyone else in our family was. <laughs> To be fair, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like a, a, a sausage, but it just fell apart a bit more because of like the oats and stuff. It's not completely meat. Yeah. All cut back together. It's like oats and uh, uh, meat combined together. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. We also had fried Mars bars, which was um, um, interesting. Okay. Apparently that's a Scottish Your, your neighbours sound like... I don't know. Well, this is not what they eat on a regular basis. They, they were yeah. like specifically making like a Scot scottish dinner i don't know why maybe they like the country or something um maybe they're americans <laughs> they obviously would like i don't know it seems like americans like to try the different cultures of i guess Br- yeah united kingdom so i don't know so anyway the fried mars bar it's a little bit weird not gonna lie um it didn't taste too bad just like the concept of it like chocolate yeah. and then you're deep frying it in batter and batter, batter and then you batter. see it and it looks kind of like um i don't know just just a battered Bad piece of chocolate is really weird, but it, it didn't taste too bad. I wouldn't eat it regularly though, because you know that could probably give me a heart attack or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> all the calories, but uh, yeah, that that was all right. And the best bit about the night, we got some badass Scottish attire. Um, oh god, we each got an awesome hat. So the women's hats were fairly. Can I, can I come round your neighbours? These guys sound amazing. <laughs> so dressing up. <laughs> so. Uh, all the women got 
just like a normal hat. It was kind of like a uh, cross pattern, I guess, like red and um, green. I guess it's like like uh, the kind of pattern you'd have on a kilt or yeah. something like that. Anyway, they had that with like a red pom pom on top. Us dudes had the exact same, but with ginger Scottish hair. I, yes. I don't know why I said Scottish hair. Ginger hair, like <sighs> attached around the sides and back of it. So you put it on. It's like so fucking ridiculous. It was uh, it's pretty good. And they said we had to keep it. And I was like, yes, I'm using that for my face reveal one day. I'm just going to fucking wear that. I'll probably take a picture and put it on Instagram at some point because it looks so fucking stupid. But yeah. pretty funny at the same time. So, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Tried haggis, tried fried Mars barley. So because say I've done that now. Um, so, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you heard about this, Max. What's been going on? But wait, have you heard anything about the Fine Brothers recently? I've heard some stuff, but I have I've been really confused about it, so I haven't really looked into it. What's so, happened? I'm very confused. So you remember Sony a little while back trying to trademark uh, the word yeah. Let's oh, Play? Oh, I think I know what this is. Have they tried to trademark React? Soon? Yes, they 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 tried. Really? There's pulling a Sony. They, they they tried to trademark the word React. They've rejected their trademark now since all the backlash they've been getting. Uh, but as yeah, as like quite a few days ago now, um, they posted like an announcement video talking about React World on their channel, which is basically they wanted to claim all React content and license it through them. So basically, okay. they would take all your revenue and then they would be in the kind guys and sharing your revenue back with you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, basically, they, they want to make money off your React videos uh, for you just using the word React, kind of. Or at least that's, that, that's what I understood of it. Um, so, as you can imagine, a lot of people very annoyed about that. They actually lost, I think they've lost about 200,000 subscribers, 300,000 subscribers Oops. in like a week. Yeah, but they have like over 10 million. Anyway. I know, but still, that is like, that says <laughs> a, a message lot. on it. Like, that was yeah. a massive un unsub train, if you like. A lot of people just... Maybe that's the happy record. It. Probably. Probably. That, that That's a lot of people. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, they, they've kind of rejected that now because they realized it was a fucking stupid idea. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, they, they just... They, they fucked it up so bad. They went about it in, like, a really silly way. Like, even if they had good intentions, um, which they, they, they may have done, um, they just, like, said it in a way that just pissed off a lot of people. So... GG fine bros with that one. Um, another thing which is really cool that uh, JPN actually found out and told me very recently, which is Deadpool is only a 15 max in the UK. Is it? I could go see it. Yes. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Hype. So the plan is to go see that oh, in the cinema. So wait. It comes out on the 10th. Yeah. I, I break up for college on the 12th, essentially. So you can come see it with us. Oh, are you going with all your... Are you going with uh, your squad? No, I'm going to sit in the cinema by myself. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm going with, with. Go with the squad. I'll come. Yay. Depending, depending on which day it is, I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll arrange summon and we'll go see Deadpool <laughs> together and eat food and stuff and it'll be good. Fair enough. Yay. <laughs> and uh, also, because... <laughs> Deadpool's pretty cool, not going to lie. I'm really excited for that movie. Um, I checked out their Twitter account... Oh my god, the funniest fucking thing. So I checked out their Bats. Twitter account, and I see they're following only one person. So I was like, okay, that's probably okay. like the main actor or something like that. Of Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Click on who they're following. It's fucking Hello Kitty. Of course. That's the one account <laughs> the Deadpool account is following. <laughs> fucking Hello Kitty. Ah, oh, too good. Too good. Um... Man, I'm just going to keep going with the stories. I feel like I'm rambling there, but, you know. Well, I don't have any, so keep going. All right, I will. Um, So, very recently, I learned to speak a bit of the ye old white girl. Eh? I, le I learned to speak a bit of white girl. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find the comment here. But basically, one of my subscribers commented on one of my videos um, talking about his Starbuck, Star Starbucks, Starbucks coffee. I, I, I didn't even know what this meant, like, until he broke it down for me. Wait, where's the original comment? Uh, uh, here it is. So, another time to watch Gore's videos while doing homework. A cup of Starbucks Frappuccino Grande Decaf Mocha Aircon. What the fuck is that? I'm pretty sure half of that is joking. Uh, no, that, um, no, I'm, I'm not joking. That is an actual drink, Max. Okay, so oh, today I'm going to teach you... 
a mocha is a type of coffee, isn't it? I'm going to teach you son, how to speak white girl. Like he was, like, <laughs> okay. like this legend once taught me. Okay, so firstly, Starbucks, obviously the brand. What is a frappuccino? That is a type of coffee, but isn't it like, I'm not, I don't drink coffee. I don't even like coffee. Yeah. So you so might yeah, as well that, just that, tell me. That is the type of coffee. What is yeah. grande? Isn't it like a. S I don't know. It sounds like it's got some special stuff in and an extra strong. No, that, that is the size. So oh, okay. large equals small. So if you say large, you get a small. If yeah. you say grande, you get a medium. And if you say venti, you get a large. Okay. So if you say large, you get a small. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, it's all about confusing. Decaf is obviously decaffeinated coffee. Yeah. Um... And I have no idea what the aircon bit is. He may have actually just been saying that he had his aircon on. I don't know if that was part of the drink or not. But <laughs> there you go. Speaking white girl with the Gornier and Max. So, yeah, that was inter That was an interesting experience. You can probably tell that I'm not the most frequent coffee orderer and drinker. Yeah. From <laughs> that. So, yeah. Um, final, final, final one. All right. I won't ramble on for much longer. So, right before I came home today for college, uh, me, me and the squad popped into Poundland to, you know, stock up on, uh, like, sweets and unhealthy shit. Um, so, you know, I got my Haribo tan fastics, lads. Let's go. <laughs> Eating them later. Um, and then, so, yeah, we're, we're in the queue and we're waiting and there's this woman in front of us. A lot of people in there seem to do, like, their weekly shops, which I'm yeah. not judging, but... Yeah, to be fair, it's a pretty good deal. Like, there's a pack of 15 eggs for, like, a pound. I was like, whoa. They're probably pretty old eggs. That but hey, 100-year-old <laughs> eggs. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, there's this woman in there. I swear to God, her shopping basket was only filled up with hula hoops. Yep, that that's the way to go. And it wasn't just, you know, a few packets of hula hoops. We're talking about three or four bags of hula hoops where, I don't know, there's, like, five packets in a bag. <laughs> 20 packets of hula hoops, lads. <laughs> Some people just have an addiction. She raided the store of bloody hula hoops. How fucking dare she? So, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. Anyway, games and stuff. What have you been playing? This week, last week, whenever? Uh, anything nothing. new? Nothing. No, not really. I can't think of anything. See, Max actually studies and does I don't study, sensible but... stuff. Shh, make you sound good. Um... Well, I just sit around and play video games all day. Um, so I wish I could do that. <laughs> the the first th or yeah, what one of the uh not a new game, but an old game that I've been playing in a new way is Hearthstone on my iPhone. I gave that a try because okay. I was reminded recently that you could actually get it on your phone. Um, turns out I had the lowest required phone for iOS. That you need to play Hearthstone, which is an a three year old iPhone 4S. Wait, what does that mean? Like, you need a certain requirements obviously to play a game. Oh right, yeah. So yeah, I have yeah. the I have like the iOS lowest requirements. Like I'm right at the edge before I wouldn't be able to play it. And I can tell you, it runs utter shite on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Every time I'm gonna win, crashes, and then <laughs> they win automatically by default. I'm like, why? phone why? why don't you um get a new phone that is the plan this that that was the tipping point Cr my half stone crashing on my phone was the tipping point to where <laughs> i'm like man i need to get a new phone you. i need to play half stone everywhere i go so um <laughs> yeah uh, the plan is to upgrade probably thinking uh, about a new iphone probably iphone 6s uh, plus i think that's my um upgrades next month so what, hopefully what, you're getting that as well uh hopefully if I trade in my iPhone five, I'll see what they. I see what happens, but hopefully I'll get a six S plus or a six. Well, I want the six S plus just because it's nice and big, and I like big phones. <laughs> like like big phones. Yeah, big, uh, they're a real big turn phones. on for me. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely need a bigger phone. This this you, iPhone your massive fucking is hands need way too small. <laughs> I can't type on the keypad even, properly. Even I think the iPhone four is small. Yeah, and I, I have know. Tiny hands. It, what is it like a four inch screen? It is pretty it's small. tiny, but the it's... iPhone 6s Plus fucking like 5.5 .5 inches. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, f I don't know if you've been seeing the new Far Cry Primal gameplay. That's kind of yeah, emerged. I have. Yeah, probably seen outside Xbox player, I would imagine. Yep. Yeah, so that kind of showed off some of the story and stuff. So, uh, you know, it looks. Oh, looks all there's right. one game. There's one game I saw when I was in game. 
uh, that uh, I thought was kind of interesting. It looks interesting. I don't know if I'll, if it, if you've seen it. It's called Quantum Break. I've heard of it. Yeah, we, we, I believe we talked about it before on the show. Did we? Oh, well, that's one of yeah, the new briefly. games coming out soon. Um, that one looks quite interesting. Like, you can, like, I don't know, bend time and shit or something. Yeah, that's the whole kind of concept of the game. Um, yeah. It was announced it quite a while ago, actually. Like, many, many E3s ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I I still haven't heard much about that game. Like, they showed off a bit of gameplay a couple years ago, and then it's gone pretty quiet since. But, yeah, I guess it's meant to come out this year. So, we've already yeah. heard some stuff at some of the gaming events in the summer time i would imagine about that but yeah yeah it looked pretty cool may pick out I, I believe it's actually an xbox exclusive exclusive yeah so i well, guess yeah I may, I may give it a try i don't know we'll see um also rainbow six siege that there's an update today i believe it came out or maybe yesterday uh it's adding some new characters and some new maps i will just look it up quickly just to confirm that it may only be one map i'm not sure uh rainbow six siege New characters. So, yeah, the, these new characters are actually really... Or at least their abilities seem really cool. At least one of them does. Um, yeah. If I could find them here. No one really talks about them. Anyway, one of them, I believe, is like some kind of trap, which just takes down an, any enemy who steps in it. Oh, okay. Or something like that. So that sounded really cool. No, all right, I can't find it. Anyway, yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure there's meant to be... There's another one. There's, there's an attacker and a, def and a defender, and there's also a new map as well, so I'm really excited to give that a try and um, maybe make some content on them, if they're any good. Um, and the final thing I've been playing is the Division Closed Beta, which is why I saved that to the end, because I'm probably going to ramble on about that <laughs> for a decent amount of time. So uh, I did finally play the beta. I don't know if you saw any of the content I uploaded on that. I did. You did. What What do you think of it? Looks Looks pretty interesting. What uh, What game do you th What games do you think it looks like? Looks similar to. Uh, I guess Splinter Cell. It's got similar. Splinter Cell. There, that's it? uh interesting. I well, guess. What, what would you say? Well, I was gonna say uh the aesthetic of it and a few of the gameplay mechanics, kind of like the parkour and stuff, feels very similar to Watch Dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, and... Oh, I suppose if I played it, I could say... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that, that's my bad. And uh, <laughs> the main kind of gameplay loop and the stuff that you're doing, such as getting loot and stuff, feels very similar to Destiny. I have no idea what the new stuff in Destiny is because there's been a whole bunch of updates to that game. The but, Taken King. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. When the Destiny first came out, because that's the only time I played it, it feels very similar <laughs> to that in a way. Very bullet spongy enemies. Maybe, maybe they've just scraped it from there. It's just maybe. pretty altogether. Like you were saying, it seems very early for the game to come out, or well, very late for the alpha, and then you never know. Oh, it's actually okay. Like it was a pretty solid beta, to be honest. Uh, it was more of a demo, if anything. Like there was very little um, bugs and stuff. Um, mainly just like clipping issues was the main one. Uh, the funny thing was that there was a few. There was an out of the map glitch or something like that in the dark zone so people were getting either like inside buildings that they weren't meant to be in or under the map so yeah. me and jpn are running about the dark zone which is the pvp zone where you can actually kill other players um and suddenly we just keep getting shot and dying and no one's there no and then we figure it out these guys are like under the map chasing us and huh. you, you can see like a red blip on the map when they've killed a few agents as like uh just to show where they're at um, so it's kind of like Jaws, because we couldn't see them, but we could see the red blip on the mini-map, so uh. and it just get closer and closer towards us, we're like, oh shit, run, 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 so that was a fun little mini-game we played in there, um, yeah, it was, it was actually a lot of fun, the only, the main issue I'm having with it at the moment is the lack of content, um, yeah. even though it was beta, so obviously they restricted a lot of stuff, if it's the same types of activities and just more of the same types of activities are playing the beta it'll get very boring very quickly um they need so uh, they're like they need different enemy types i feel like I, i'm pretty sure there's a few more but they need like a good variety of enemies um and i don't know just like different missions and stuff obviously i have the single player campaign in the main game as well but uh yeah yeah my main concern is the lack of content at the moment also, the setting is the setting's cool, but the way they have it is with the really bullet spongy enemies. So you have guys in hoodies yep. that soak up like a whole magazine of ammo. 
It's like, that it, That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You shoot someone in the head with a sniper rifle, oh, it only takes half their HP down, and they don't even flinch. So, yeah, that's also a little annoying. Um, Total Biscuit said one way to maybe fix that is to just add more enemies and lower their health down a bit, rather than yeah. have really bullet spongy enemies. That may balance things out a bit, but yeah, at the moment, it, it was still fun to shoot guys. It just, the, I don't know, just... Yeah, it seems a little spongy mindset. for who they are. Not about uh, a game about something else, but if you want to say anything else, no, no, go for it. That's me done on the division. I guess it'd be news now, wouldn't it? Yes, <laughs> because my thing's related to news, I guess. Although it's pretty old news, I think, or well, technically it is, and it's to do with Total Biscuit. Uh, okay, go for it. I think I think you'll know this possibly that um he quit social media I think mm -hmm. last week because yeah. um. Uh, he had, was it, yeah, it was cancer, wasn't it? Yeah, he had uh, terminal cancer. colon cancer, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know if you knew this, because I thought you were a really big fan of Total Biscuit. I, was like, I oh. am, like, he's the he's my favorite YouTuber, and a guy I massively look up to. And, yeah, I thought it was that's Yeah, he, sad. he quit Twitter because um, he can't handle it, like, honestly. Like, he has 2 million subscribers, so the amount of hate... He, it's, it's hard for people to comprehend because not everybody has fucking 2 million subscribers, do they? Um, yeah. But I can under, kind of understand the sheer amount of hate and feedback and criticism he gets. So, and he, he, he said it himself. Like, he said in one of his last audio blogs talking about why he's quitting it um, that he likes to read feedback. Like, he's kind of addicted to reading feedback. Uh, but the thing is, he can't take the criticism. Like, he can't handle the, the yeah. sheer amount of hate. So, ultimately... Obviously, you know, if he doesn't have that long to live, uh, yeah. unfortunately, then he wants to be happy. He wants to spend time with his family and stuff like that. And ultimately, he may live longer if he doesn't have to deal with that bullshit. So he's just kind of giving it away to his staff, I guess, to manage and stuff. So he doesn't have to look yeah. at that shit. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of why he's done that. I, I wish to meet that guy one day. I've, that is like one of the one YouTubers I would just love to talk to in real life. I'm going to hopefully go to this year's CoxCon, which is where Total Biscuit, Jesse Cox, like a whole kind of yeah. bunch of them who are all friends and stuff, they um go to that convention and do panels and stuff there. So the plan yeah. is to go to that uh, whenever that's set up and hopefully meet them because he is a massive inspiration to me. I look up to that man greatly. Um, Anyway, so uh, Games with Gold. I don't know if you know what the new Games with Gold are. I've seen it for Xbox 360. It's like a really weird game. I, I, I have no interest in the uh, game. I think <laughs> I got it on my Twitter somewhere. Should have. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so for Xbox One, well, actually, you can get all four of these games on Xbox One. That's, cause that's what yeah. they're doing now. Uh, so for Xbox One, it's Hand of Fate. And what the fuck is this thing? STYX. Okay. I think that stands for something, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, STYX. Um, and for Xbox 360, we have Sacred Citadel and Gears of War 2. Oh, Gears of War 2. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. I didn't realize that's out. I don't know if that's out yet. Um, it might be. It, I don't know. Do they stagger it? Oh, yeah, they do. February 16th yeah. to 29th, 16th, you can get that. Yeah, the first, uh, the first game you read out, that's at, out at the moment. Yeah. So that's one I'm interested in. But Gears of War 2, I ha Gears of War was free with games of gold. Gears of War's Judgment Day was three games of gold and now they're giving gears of war 2 three <laughs> yeah. games of gold that's uh pretty interesting i've i've no idea what sacred citadel no, is no i think it's like a weird indie game or something i don't know i uh, saw it and i was just like yeah uh, it looks kind of like that uh also there's that styx thing I'm yeah. gonna look that up. I'm curious. Um, also, the other one on there for us was one hand of fate It's actually a game i was kind of curious in i only heard about it um uh a little while ago and I was gonna plan to get it on Steam. I just never picked it up. It's like a yeah. card game where I don't know. It just looks really interesting, and like the aesthetic of it and stuff looks really cool. It's basically a, a card game where you get cards and then uh, it's like turn based or something like that. Um, so I'll definitely be giving that a go. Uh, it's a stealth video game developed by Cyanide Studios. So it's a stealth game. So you gotta be stealthy, obviously. Yeah. And it's about this, I guess, it's the guy on the front cover. Looks like some kind of goblin or something. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, and he has, like, special powers. I guess kind of, like, Dishonored or something like that. I don't know. Oh, right. I'll give it a go. I, I always download them because, you know, they're free games. Yeah. So I ain't complaining. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for news and stuff. I may be able to find an interesting story quickly. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Um, let's find it quickly. How's that assignment coming, Max? Not right? well. Not well? Well, I've nearly done the first one. Two more to go. All right. I know one thing that will be a good way to wrap up the end of the show. I think it's time for another helping of Florida Man. Oh. Let's do man. this. Florida Man pulls pants down in hospital and begins yelling about the size of his penis. <laughs> Florida Man found in a hotel room with dead body, two live monkeys. What? <laughs> <laughs> Florida man attacks Walmart employee with potato chips. Oh, These are all so good. <laughs> Which one do I click on? Um, I think the, uh, the monkey one. <laughs> Florida man leaves job at Burger King, steals all their oh, nuggets yeah. because I saw fuck that. it. Yeah. Wait, I want to read. It's just a bag of fucking chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah. He stole all the chicken nuggets. Oh my. He's just got a bag of chicken nuggets in his front seat. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Florida man can't produce driver's license for police. Shows them a mixtape instead. <laughs> Check out my new mixtape. Coming out this summer. All right, we'll do the monkey one. Uh, where was it? There we go. Florida man found in a hotel room with dead body and two live monkeys. Oh, oh God. What happened here? Authorities say the body of a woman was found along with two live monkeys in a hotel room in southwest Florida. Okay. Police plan to interview a man who also has been found incoherent oh, in the say, room. I thought you were about to say they're about to interview the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. Oh, uh, okay, they haven't said why, what's happening on there yet, unfortunately. Uh, I'm curious. What was going on there? Florida man punches neighbor for refusing to have a drink with him. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what? This page cannot be found. All right, fuck you. All right, we'll wrap things up here, guys. So, yeah, thanks thanks for watching and listening and all that good stuff. As always, if you did it, like it, hit the like button, and, of course, subscribe for more content from myself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.